Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 30th, 2024, from the book of 1 Timothy, The True Wealth of a Christian. Previously, we heard Paul talk about a world fixated on material success, where Christians are now offered guidance on how to view the wealth, the blessings that God has given to us. We heard before about Paul reminding believers that they may possess material abundance, but emphasizes that the key lies in our attitude toward wealth, not its mere possessions. Paul warns against the pitfalls of pride and misplaced trust in riches. Instead, Paul directs our focus to God as the ultimate source of security and provision. This biblical wisdom invites Christians to adopt a radically different approach to wealth, one that acknowledges God as the source of all blessings and finds security in God alone and uses resources for God's glory and the benefit of others. So let's continue with the book of 1 Timothy. From 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 18. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share. Now, this verse comes on the heels of Paul's warning against trusting in riches. But rather than merely telling us what not to do, Paul provides us with positive guidance on how we should use our wealth. Make no mistake, my friends, this applies to all of us not just those who society deems as wealthy. First, Paul tells us to do good. This is called an active faith. Our wealth, whether great or small, comes with responsibility to positively impact others and society. God has given us these gifts. And so we should be using these gifts. Next, Paul uses a powerful wordplay, urging us to be rich in good works. Here, Paul contrasts material riches with spiritual riches. True wealth in God's economy is measured not by the size of our bank accounts, but by our trust in God's good grace and mercy, which then good works then flow from. The apostle then calls us to be generous. This directly addresses how we should use our material blessings. This encourages us to be open-handed as we approach our own possessions. Remember, everything that we have is ultimately a gift from God. Finally, Paul instructs us to be ready to share. This implies both an attitude and an action. We should cultivate a disposition of willingness to help others with our resources, always prepared to meet the needs as they arise. These instructions that Paul gives reflect the Christian concept of stewardship. All that we have is ultimately God's and we are responsible for using it wisely. This is a counter-cultural approach in a world that often encourages accumulation and self-interest. But let me be clear, this is not about earning God's favor through our good deeds. Rather, it's about our good deeds being the natural outflow of our faith and gratitude for what Christ has done for us. So, how do we apply this in our lives today? Well, we do actively seek opportunities to do good with the gifts that God has given to us. We should view our wealth, however much or little, as a tool for positive impact rather than personal comfort or status. We should cultivate a generous spirit, always being willing to share with what we have. Regularly, we should also take a look at how we are using our resources to benefit others. And we also should understand that financial blessings come with 
spiritual responsibilities. Remember that true riches are not measured by the bank accounts, but by God's grace through faith, good works occur. So in essence, this verse challenges us to view wealth not as an end in itself, but as a means to demonstrate God's love and make a positive difference in the world. So brothers and sisters in Christ, let us be rich in the things that truly matter. Let our lives be marked by good works, generosity, and a readiness to share. For in doing so, we not only honor God, but also store up for ourselves treasures that will last for eternity. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.